My parents know. Cops probably know. Everybody's smoking so weed. And apparently it's not just in Boulder and not just on 420. A new survey finds more Coloradans are putting down the bottle and picking up the bong. But is that an improvement? I could go for a taco, maybe a Taco Bell. I could do without the bell. I just need the tacos, really. Depends on who you ask. Oh, boy. Let's get right to the numbers on this new survey. When it comes to alcohol, Colorado was the only state to report a decrease in people who think they're at risk to binge drink. In 2006, 30% said they were at risk. Well, now it's at 26%. However, the survey found Colorado is one of only seven states with significant increases in teens and adults who say they're smoking pot. The story is a lot of people talking, of course, who want to go out now to Julie Hayden. She's at Governor's Park Bar in Denver. Julie, what are people saying that this means? Well, you know, you could say here it's a gorgeous night out. People out here having a lot of fun. Things are pretty mellow. As you said, according to the survey, Colorado is the only state where people now say they are considerably less likely to go binge drinking. And it's one of a few states where people say they are more likely to smoke pot than they were a few years ago. Some say that's a sign of the times. In the last few years, it looks like Coloradans have shifted their attitude toward pot. I think it's clear not only based on um, that, on, on arrests going down in Denver, also on this data from the survey, that um, people are changing, times are changing, more people are coming to accept that marijuana is part of our society, it's safer than alcohol. And the National Survey on Drug Use and Health found that Colorado is one of seven states that saw a significant increase in the number of people who say they're more likely to smoke pot at least once a month than they were in 2006. I mean, I know a lot of people that do it recreationally, and I think that it is better for you than drinking, obviously, um, because I do think that you can control it a little bit more, um, and I don't think that the side effects are quite as harmful. Mason DeVert, who heads a Denver-based marijuana legalization move, believes that more people are looking at pot as being safer than alcohol, especially when it comes to binge drinking. There's no doubt amongst the scientific community that alcohol use in general, but particularly binge drinking, is far more dangerous than using marijuana. Um, it leads to violent crimes, sexual assault, domestic violence, property damage, rioting, all sorts of serious problems that we recognize, uh, whereas the use of marijuana has never been linked to these serious problems. The survey also shows a slight decrease in the number of people who think they're at risk to binge drink. Bridget Schultz, who manages a local restaurant and bar, sees that reflected in her customers. People definitely will come here and drink, you know, for multiple hours, but I don't think that it's to the extent where they're just drinking to get wasted. You know, it's kind of more of a social thing, and they're just more here to have fun. Now, the pot legalization people say there's been a decrease in the number of citations from police and prosecutions of people drinking and smoking pot in Denver. I guess they just heard our story here. But, you know, Kelly, people need to know, even if more of them are reaching for a bong, it is still illegal in Colorado, and you can still get a ticket or worse for it. So you want to be careful, even if the survey indicates sort of a shift in attitude. Oh, you bet. Well, one thing I was wondering, Julie, you got to wonder if the, the economy has anything to do with this, people staying in and drinking at home. You know, that could very well be. I know a lot of times people in the restaurant industry in general will say that things are a little bit down. On the other hand, I don't know. You can tell here right now I think things are doing just fine at Governor's Park. Oh, yeah. 7.15 on a whatever night this is. I'm sure it's a, a great night. Thursday, good night to drink. All right. Thank you, Julie.